Okay. We are now in session. Spray the jelly. So we are about 21 weeks into your pregnancy. All right. Let's take a look at your baby. You can change it to obstetric cafe. So there's an arrow on the screen. Can you see arrow on the screen? I'll use the arrow to point things out to you. So we'll just look around. Huh? We'll look around. So for orientation, this is your abdominal wall, skin, fat, and muscle. Below, you can see is a posterior wall, and this is the placenta. Can you see the placenta? From right to left, I'm looking at the placenta. Well, good news is there is a pretty normal looking placenta, right? Just for the record. Placenta is posterior position, looks normal. Now let's look at the baby now. Eh? We look at the baby. So here we have the baby's head is on top here. Sorry, the head is here. The head, eh? I'll be looking at that head. The baby, baby's body can see the heart beating here. The liver, the diaphragm, please follow me. Eh? And uh, the baby's bladder. <laughs> that's the baby's stomach. Can you see this bubble? This is the stomach and that's the liver. That's the bladder. So I just freeze it for a moment. Oops, baby moved. <laughs> uh, the baby's backbone is over here, all right? You can see that, the backbone, the spine is here, the diaphragm is here, and there's a chest. So, if you look at it, those are the ribs. The heart again, okay? The heart, okay. If you just get a closer look at the baby's heart, I'm going to enlarge the picture a little bit, no, for a closer look at the baby's heart, okay? So, later on, I'll be doing the heartbeat. Huh? So, this is just a view of the baby's heart in the... Pretty fast, the baby's heartbeat is quite normal. The baby's heart always beats very fast, okay? From this angle, good. So I look at it from another angle. Huh? I just need to show you the four chambers of the baby's heart. Huh? So please follow me. I've just enlarged a picture to so see the baby's heart here. So we want to see whether we can see the four chambers clearly. The four chambers are very important, huh? the baby's heart. So let's see the four chambers. The, the lungs on the right side and left side, those are the lung fields. All right, this is one, one very good view of the baby's heart. This particular view of the baby's heart I'm going to show you right now is called the, <coughs> the left ventricular of the track wheel. So I'm going to write it down, left. So what happens is it shows me the left ventricle chamber of the baby's heart, LV for short, and the connection is to this blood vessel, which is actually the aorta, the major artery of the heart. Eh? So you can see a bit of the right ventricle over there. So, and the uh, left atrium over here. So this is a normal view, by the way, huh? all right? So the aorta goes right around the back of the baby's heart. It's now behind the heart, the same blood vessel. Okay, I'll show it to you again. So back we go again. Watch very carefully here, the, the chambers of the heart. I want to show you the four. This is the right and left ventricle. The atrium is uh, over here, so the stomach is below. That's the stomach, eh? so we want to go for the heart again. Please watch carefully. You notice, of course, the heartbeat is pretty fast. Hmm. The atrial chambers on the left and on the right. Okay, let's wait for the baby to move a bit more. The left ventricle, the right ventricle. We saw the left ventricular chamber uh, uh, off the track just now. So waiting for the baby to turn a little bit more. So here again, you can see the left ventricular of the track very clearly. Remember, we saw that just now earlier on. Eh? This is so actually the left ventricle, the right ventricle, the right atrium, and the left atrium. Those are the four chambers. But I am trying to get a better view now. You can see the four chambers clearly. This is in slow motion. Eh? The heartbeat. Can you see that? As you can see, the heartbeat in slow motion. And later on, I'll actually do the actual heartbeat uh, itself. Huh? So let's focus again. Good, so far so good. Then I'm going to rotate it this way now to see the other connection, if possible. Here you can see the uh, left ventricle and the right ventricle. See in this view. This view shows the two ventricles, huh? the left ventricle, this is, a, this is a cross section, and the right ventricle. And here the, you can see the connection of the right ventricle going down here is to the pulmonary artery. Huh? I, I'll explain to you later on. So this is actually uh, the view of the baby's ventricles, which are actually the larger chambers of the baby's heart. The view is actually called the short axis view. Short axis means it's a cross section, huh? short axis view. So far so good, huh? hang on. Mm. 
Start the game and go. Then the connection itself. The backbone is at the lower part of the screen. Eh? The backbone is at the lower part of the screen. Over here just now. So let's see the angle again. The baby's face is here, by the way. We'll look at that shortly. After the heart, we'll look at the face. Eh? Hang on. So that's the arm. See the arm there? Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the heart again. So you can see the connection of the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. And back again where you see the uh, four chambers of the baby's heart again uh, from this angle. Remember the stomach is over here, the stomach and there's a liver, stomach and liver. <clears throat> so, hang on. <laughs> the position of the baby has changed a little bit, so we don't get such good views again. So, the view has changed. So, I'm going to move on from here. I'll come back again to the heart later on, okay? So, for the next view, we're going to look at is the baby's face as well as the head and brain. So let's focus on the head and brain Yeah, I'm now looking at the baby's head and brain in the midline that divides the brain into two halves. So it's very important to see the midline. That one is the midline. So we will do some measurements in a short while. In this view, we can see a few uh, views. Here is the septum cable pellucidum, the fox cerebri. Sorry, it's septum cumin pellucidum and the choroid plexus, which was the butterfly wing plus nine. And then we do the measurement called the bipartial diameter, which is across the midline. This measurement is up to, as you can see for yourself, it's uh, 50.1 millimeters, 21 weeks. Then we do the head circumference. This is a measurement around the baby's head, so we'll take a look at that. The circumference is the perimeter, which is also around Okay, 17.8 centimeter, which is 20 weeks, 2 days plus minus 11 days, means it is normal for um, 21 weeks as well on the measurement. Okay, this is one view of the baby's head and brain. Let's continue. We're going to look at other views. Huh? So back again, we've got the baby's head, <laughs> the midline. The, the front is over here, all right? So let's see. The midline, the correct plexus. So the other measurement we're going to do shortly will... Baby is uh, baby studying the head now, so it makes it a bit more difficult now. Uh, yeah, she is. Those are the two orbits where the eyeballs are located. Can you see this, Shadow? The eyeballs are located there, so we call it the. This one is a view with the with the nose in front there. All right, so you can see the orbits where the eyeballs are located. So generally, we measure the biocular distance, which is the distance between the two orbits. Huh? Hang on, you can see the orbits again. Can you see the two orbits? One is over here. Oh, oh, eyeballs are there. So the biocular distance is 34 millimeters. That's the distance between the two orbits, all right? So as we look, the baby is, part of the nose is here. The baby is looking at my arrow. So let's see whether I can do the face profile. Uh, okay. Watch carefully. The baby's nose, forehead, and the mouth. Uh, hang on. So let's look. The nose is that one. Uh, huh. So let's see. The nose is there. Forehead is here. I just want to show you something. So inside the orbits, you can see the lens of the eyeball. That is the lens of the eyeball in front. Can you see one there? And over here? The lens. The lens. So we know that the, yeah, correct. So the baby's got eyeballs. Okay. Let's go back in the face profile. <laughs> okay. Here again, you can see the face profile. Hang on. You can see the mouth. The mouth is over here. And the mouth, okay. And the nose is on top. So in this view of the face profile, okay, not the best view, the nose, forehead, the nose here, not so clear, the mouth and the chin. I'll try again, okay? Get a better view. Uh, okay, I can see the nose better now. Oh, you saw the mouth moving. <laughs> Just enlarge the picture for you. See the, the chin is over here, there's the baby's chin, the mouth here, the mouth is over here. Upper lip and lower lip. Here's a bit of the nose over there, all right, the nose and the forehead is over here. So we call this the um, face profile. Okay, 
Let's try again. So this, this is the front view of the baby's face. Huh? So it's called the profile. The baby's looking to the top of the screen. There we go again. See? Follow my arrow. The mouth is moving over there. <sighs> the nose is there. There's just a hand coming in front. Yeah, the hand is just coming in front of the face. Yeah. There's a mouth there again. Huh? I'm trying to see whether I can see the upper lip of the baby's mouth. The mouth is there. Please follow me. The mouth. <laughs> there's the nose there. Please follow me. There's a nose here again. Oh, the baby is extending the face. The mouth is there. Orbit. Heart, remember we saw that just now, remember the heart again. Let's see, can, that's the backbone again. Huh? Let's see whether I can get the view that I want. The heart, the, the backbone. Hmm. So it's important to see the backbone is what's at the back. Huh? There's the backbone there, the spine. <clears throat> again, I'm changing the direction. Huh? Let's see whether I can get a better view from here. <clears throat> and notch a picture again. Literally, the four chambers are there, and I'm just going to, to, to show, get, get a good picture of the four chambers. So, um, what is happening right now is in the four chambers. Huh? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm scrolling through. Okay, in this view of the four chambers, let me just explain to you what we're looking at. This is a cross section to the baby's heart and chest in the four chamber. By the way, the backbone is at the back over here, and so the chamber that's closest to the spine is this one. This is the left one. On this side is the right one, so it's the right atrium. RA and all this stands for the right and left atrium. Between the two, there's always a hole called a foramen ovale. You see the hole there? This is normal. All babies have this foramen ovale. When the baby is born, this will close, so all babies have it. Here's the larger chamber on the, side, on the right ventricle and on the left ventricle. So normally the blood is found from LA to LV, all right, and from through the atrial ventricular valve and from RA to RV and from L RA to LA. And this is the aorta at the back of the baby's heart. Remember, I told you the lungs on the left side was here and the lungs on the right side is here. Lungs, huh? all right. So that is the view that we are looking at. Okay. So far, so far, so good. Huh? Come back again. So far, so good. Hang on. So I'm just trying to later on I'll be doing the heartbeat. Huh? So those are the four chambers again. Look very carefully. You can see the atrial chambers, the interventricular septum. There's no hole between the two ventricles. You can see that, huh? the two ventricles. It is between the <coughs> the left ventricle is over here, remember? And the right ventricle is on top. That is just a trabeculation, two ventricles. Here you can see the two um, uh, atrial chambers and there's a hole between there. Huh? That is between the right atrium. Remember the right atrium, the hole is called a foramen the valley, and the left atrium for this angle. Okay, so that's that's that is normal. See that? Normal view. This is heart is beating in slow motion. You can appreciate it better. Okay, now <laughs> see that? You can see the movements of the heart in slow motion as well. And then back you go again from this angle. We saw the backbone in the lower part of the. <coughs> The spine, you remember, was at the back over here. There's the backbone, and the heart is just there. And uh, the face of the baby is over here. So let's see whether I can get another look at the baby's. Remember, we still haven't completed the brain yet. Huh? There are some other parts of the baby's brain that I got to see. Okay, so let's go for that now. Let's go back to the head again and the brain. There's a nose there. That's the heart again. Again, so I'm just trying to get that part. Yeah, I must say your baby is uh, very active, huh? moving a lot. That's, uh, that's for sure. Oh, the hand is just moving in front. Yes, that's the baby's neck. <laughs> the neck, the neck, huh? the backbone is over there, and then of course you can see the heart beating over there.
So the baby's head is uh, bent backwards, uh, bent backwards, meaning it's going to the back. <coughs> this view that I was trying to show you, I was trying to get a good view here, and uh, let's see. Uh, was the other view of the right ventricular upper tract view? Hang on. So the view that I was trying to show you was actually called the, uh, let me write it down for you, the uh, right uh, ventricular upper tract view shows the connection of the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. I'm going to label it for you, eh? just enlarge it a little bit more. So um, <coughs> here's a portion of the right ventricle and the blood vessel we're interested in is going over here. So that's called the pulmonary artery going towards the lungs. This circle here is the cross section of the ureter. And the backbone is over here. So basically, what is happening right now is that uh, this artery, uh, which comes from the right ventricle, uh, is above the aorta. The aorta is the tunnel below. So that is the correct connection. Okay, that's correct. That's the correct connection that we're looking. You see that? You can see that again in slow motion. The right ventricular upper tract view. Okay, pretty pretty normal looking. All right, I'll just move it so that you can see what you're looking at. Hmm. Right, so that was a very good view of the baby's uh, right ventricular upper tract view. And so I'm going back to the baby's head and brain again. Eh? All right, so let's go. <laughs> wow, this baby's position again, the head is, uh, the angle is not very good for this to show me the posterior brain, you know, so I can't see the brain. I'm going to go back to that later on. Eh? All right, don't worry. So let's go from below the heart. Here's another good four chamber view. You can see that beautiful view, right? A nice view of the right, huh? The right, left, right, left, right. Uh, this is a very good view of the four chamber. I mean, all in all, I'm quite happy with your baby's heart. Huh? So, well, the heart is the stomach and the liver. So, this is a cross section. Let me show you what we're looking at. In this cross section, you see the stomach. This is the bubble here. Look at the bubble. The backbone is, of course, over here at the back of the, And then the uh, liver is over here. So, at this point in time, we do a measurement called the abdominal circumference. So this measurement is the circumference of the abdomen. Eh? See me measuring that. Mm. So this measurement is 15.7, 20 weeks, 4 days, plus minus 14 days, means it's normal for 21 weeks as well. Okay, let's go down a little bit. So uh, baby is moving. That's the stomach. That's the liver. I told you that. Eh? And going lower down, kidney shadows on the left and on the right. Eh? Stomach is here, so the backbone is here. The left and the right kidney shadows are beside the spine. The spine actually separates the right and the left kidneys on both sides, huh? the kidney. So as I go lower down, I should come, come to the bottom of the baby now. I'm going to have to do the lower limbs. Huh? So the lower limbs, I'm going to show it to you. I split the screen into two. I'm going to measure the lower limbs. Huh? First the thigh bone followed by the leg bone. Huh? That, that is the thigh bone. Can you see the thigh bone there? The thigh bone, that's the one, you know, it's the bone. This measurement from the hip to the knee is up to 34. Let's try again over here. We want to make sure they get a full length of the bone. Eh? This is the thigh bone. Hang on. Well, from here, it looks like this is the right thigh. But let me do the measurement first. The measurements are important. This is up to 35 millimeters. OK, and uh, hang on. Eh? <laughs> yeah, there we go again. So, so far, the maximum measurement is up to 35 millimeters. And then from here, we're going to go on to the leg measurements. And there's 34. The leg will be below the thigh. Eh? So, the legs will be below the knee. All right. So, let's try and look for the baby's legs. In the baby's legs, there are always two. That's their hand, by the way. <laughs> we come to that. Yeah, the hand is quite nearby. Uh, yeah, the legs will be coming out over here. Let's focus on the two bones in the baby's legs. We should be able to get it. Two bones in the baby's legs. Oops. Yep, <laughs> your baby is really moving so much. Ah, that's the leg again. Eh? See, there are two bones in the baby's legs. Eh? The anterior, the medial bone is called the tibia, and the lateral bone is called the fibula. Can you see the bone again? Yeah. Uh, this one is actually the medial bone. So this is the fem uh, tibia, and the tibia measures up to 30 millimeters for the tibia. Right, there's a tibia. And then remember, the femur was measuring up to 35 millimeters. 35. That's the length of, of the femur. So bone, bones are normal measurements. I'm going to write down the names. Tibia and the um, femur. Okay, after this, we'll be looking at the baby's feet. Eh? All right, so let's look at the baby's feet. So back and go again. So remember, the leg bones. One leg is over here, the other leg is on top. Eh? There are two bones in the baby's leg. See that? From the knee to the ankle. 
There's one leg on top and the other leg is over this side. So we've seen the baby's two legs. Can you see the two legs, mister? One over there and one over. Now the baby's feet itself. Huh? Let's look at the baby's feet over here. <laughs> see the baby's foot there? There's a the foot. The heel is there and the toe is there. Alright, so we look at the, the shape. Oops. <laughs> baby just moved it a bit. Yeah, there, yeah. That's the foot again. See? The foot, huh? Alright. Whoops. Yeah, the baby is always pretty active, right? Anyway. Yeah, the one foot is there and one foot is now below. Can you see that? The one is below. So 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 far as excuse me, as far as you can see, the baby's feet looks normal. There's no evidence of club feet, huh? Club feet means the baby's feet looks like the head of a golf club. Huh? If you play golf, you know what I'm trying to say, huh? But this is actually a normal looking feet, huh? Alright, that's a leg again. See? Two legs. One on top and one below. One on top and one below. And the feet is up there. Now, uh, let's see, go down a little bit. We said that the uh, blood test shows a baby girl, right? Yeah. Let's see whether you can see that or not. That's a thigh bone. That's the other thigh bone. So we want to look. There's a baby's bladder, remember? The bladder is attached. So there's urine in the bladder. Good. So the kidneys are functioning. That's what it means. Uh, See, one thigh is here and the other thigh is at the bottom. See the two thighs, huh? one there and one here. The thighs. No, oh, the baby's not really giving me a good view, huh? Mm. Looking over here. See, now the backbone is more in front. Can you see the backbone now? That's the tail end of the spine. Now the backbone is on top. See the tail end of the backbone is over there. Huh? Yeah. See that? That's the tail end of the spine. The rest of the spine is curving over here. The spine is not towards your left, huh? Can you see it towards your left, huh? And the tail end is over here. So in this view itself, let's try and see again whether you can see the female genitalia between the thighs. Over here. Follow my arrow, huh? Over here. And that's the bladder again. Well, so far I don't see any male genitalia over here. That's why I see the tree over here. Please follow my arrow. You can see three lines here. Basically, can you see those three lines we're talking about? One, two, three. Three lines. We normally see that with a girl. That's a baby's bladder. Huh? The bladder. So that appearance is uh, consistent with a girl. Girl. All right. So basically, the scanning just confirmed that it is also it is a girl. Huh? Confirming the blood test, which shows that the the, uh, the chromosomes they identified was consistent with a female XX, huh? XX. XX is a girl. XY is a boy. All right. From here, we're going to move on to the uh, to the. Uh, there we go again. To the upper limb, huh? hang on. So we're going to go out the upper limb. So that was the lower part of the baby. Right now the upper part, the upper limb. So I'm going to go to the upper limb. Oh, that's a head again. Can I go to the head again? Hopefully the angle is better because I got to check out the posterior brain and uh, and the lateral ventricle. So come on. <laughs> and also, okay, do a measurement for the okay. This part of the baby's brain that I'm looking at. Please follow my arrow. This part of the baby's brain. This part of the brain is called the <coughs> lateral ventricle, and the name is written down here. And so we do the measurement. Uh, so this measurement should be less than 10. 6.6 .6 millimeters is normal. Okay, that's okay. Less than 10. Anything more than 10 means there's a lot of water in the brain. Okay, this shows me a very good view of the posterior brain. What, what are we looking at? We're looking at the cerebellum and we're looking at the cystella magna. You can see the thalamus on both sides. You can see the midline, the fox cerebri. Okay, that is the cerebellum which is made of two loops. Cerebellum. C for cerebellum. Yeah, I'll write out a name here for you anyway. It's a long name. And then behind the cerebellum is the cystella magna CM, and this is the cystella magna behind. I'm going to do measurements now. So we measure the trans cerebellar diameter, which is the measurement I'm doing now. This measurement is up to 20 millimeters, normal by the way, yeah? normal. And the cystella magna behind measures up to 7.3 millimeters. Again, it's a normal reading, no problems. So the baby's brain is okay, all right. And then finally, we need to do some head measurements. Huh? There again, go. This this summarizes everything. The head measurements we want to do is called the, hang on, uh, let's try and get it right. Hmm. Did I give you the head measurements just on this? Hmm, what is the head circumference? Okay, just for verification. Yeah, very, very close to that, 
eight, correct. That's the circumference we did just now. Okay, good. So that is pretty normal. All right. So here it summarizes everything. This picture gives an overall view of the baby's brain. You can see the septum given pellucidum, which is very important. Yes. CP for sure, the fox cerebri, the cerebellum, which is made of two lobes, the cystella magna, right? Remember the thalamus on both sides of the midline. I just put arrows for that. So this shows all the parts of the baby's brain to be normal. Great, finished. Okay, so we had a really good look. Now let's see.